What's up guys, today I wanna to tell you about the Orico DIY Portable SSD. Now this is gonna come with their ClearLink M.2 SSD enclosure, as well as their J10 NVMe SSD. So let's go ahead and take a look. This entire kit is gonna come with a lot. So you're gonna get the M.2 SSD enclosure, you will get a heat sink for that enclosure and a piece of thermal tape. Now the actual drive itself, of course you're gonna get that, but that also comes with a heat sink and a bottom heat spreader, as well as two pieces of thermal tape. You're gonna get mounting hardware for installing the drive in the enclosure. You will get a USB type C to type C cable, and then you have your sets of instructions. Before we install our drive, let's take a look at the enclosure. It is clear, which I like, so you can actually, you know, see the drive inside. It does have a single Type-C connection here. Now this is USB 3.2 Gen 2. So you're gonna get, you know, no matter what drive you put in here, the max speed you'll get is 1000 megabytes a second. And one thing I really like about this drive is that it is completely toolless. So you can just pop the lid off. Pretty easy to go ahead and do that. Now let's go ahead and install our drive. Now, if you are gonna put the heatsink on your drive, it's very easy to do. So this is double-sided thermal tape. And what we're gonna do, if I can get the one side off, is that you wanna put the thermal tape on your drive first. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll put it right on there, as you can see. So it is on our drive. And then you wanna take that second piece off. It is kind of hard, but we wanna go ahead, try to get a corner, there we go. Get that second piece of film off. And then you wanna put the heat sink itself on. So line it up and then you just press it down. And when you press it down, it is going to be all together just like that. Now, what you wanna do is inside the actual enclosure is your M.2 slot. So do it this way so you guys can see, but all you have to do is just press it in here and it's in, but you need to lock it in place. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab these little pieces right here. So to lock the drive down so it's not sticking up like this, we take one of the included rubber pieces and we connect it on the end here. I know it's gonna be hard to see, but as you can see, it's right here on the end, just like that. Make sure it's pressed down and then you're just gonna press it down and lock it in there. And once it gets fully locked in, your drive is in there. It's not going anywhere. As you can see, you can see the little rubber piece right here on the end, making sure everything is in there. And then all we have to do is just close this up right here and we are good to go. Again, it's clear so you can see your drive inside, which is nice. But again, that heat sink fits no problem. Like the lid's not gonna, you know, there's no issues with the lid or anything. And we're ready to go ahead and plug this in. Now I have my laptop right here. And of course I have the drive ready to go. Using the included Type-C cable, I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in. There is a little blue activity LED that lets you know that, you know, you're getting power to the drive and that it is working and transferring files. But as you can see, it pops up, no problem, we're ready to go. And we can actually run a speed test really quickly here. Go ahead and bring this up. This is Crystal Disk Mark. It's a pretty standard, you know, uh, testing software for portable drives. So we'll go ahead and start that. Our test has completed here and I'm gonna carefully bring the laptop up so you guys can go ahead and see. But as you can see there, we have over 1000 megabytes a second, both read and write on this drive, which is definitely nice. So this is a nice little portable SSD kit. It gives you both the M.2 SSD as well as the portable enclosure. And it makes it sort of like a little cool, you know, building experience yourself. So if you are looking for a portable SSD, this is one that I would definitely recommend.